Hey everybody, it's Bluto, and welcome back to Celeste. Now, I found it a bit difficult to record and commentate at the same time, so I'm now doing this post-commentary. Everything's been edited down, so it's going to be a lot faster. Also, I changed the controls to make jump and dash uh, different, You can, as you can see here. Uh, but anyway, the, the editing is going to be different as it goes through, basically. Just because I'm weird with, with the way that my brain works, apparently. But basically, I'm only going to be showing the highlighted runs and attempts. And I cut more out as we get further into the harder stuff of the game. But as you can see here, in this first room that took me five minutes to beat, even though it took me forever to try to do it while commentating, uh, you need to actually try to jump up or di diagonal to try and get through easier. It's so weird coming back to this though. I, I'm just glad that I have been able to get further in the game, so. But anyway, now we're in the second room. Only five minutes have passed. But now for the second room, which shouldn't take too long, I don't think. It did take... It obviously took longer in the non-edited down version. But even so, I'm still showing most... Like, a, a decent amount. I probably could have cut out more in this first level. But anyway, we need to go down this platform without going into the, the, the death plane there, I guess. And we need to dash wall jump up to that platform up there so we can do the same thing at the end of the level as well. I'll try to explain stuff as we go through. I, it's going to be somewhat interesting though because... I don't know. I, I guess it's just going to be... It depends on how well edited it is and how fast we go by it, so... Uh, but anyway, we're on this platform up here now, so let's go down if we can. I'm just trying to time it right so we can get through without dying. But now comes the third room, which took a little bit longer than the rest of the level, so... I guess the first bit, two rooms took like 10 minutes probably, I don't, I don't really know how long the second room took. Uh, but the third room takes us all the way up to 30 minutes in total for the whole level, so... But anyway, we have quite a fair bit to go through. We have all these stuff at the beginning that we need to wall jump to get through. And we need, then we need to dash through that little hole there to get over to these platforms. And we need to dash through the hour a long way over to that platform there. And then a whole bunch of chaotic stuff at the end. Which isn't too chaotic. We just need to have that guy, the hotel manager there, to bounce off his head to do things. Which will be difficult. But anyway... The main thing is just taking it slow. You don't have to, if you if you don't rush and you take it slow and steady, you you'll do a lot better, I believe. In this part at least, so. Also, if you're climbing up a wall as the manager is dashing at you, if you don't run out of wall and you're not blow him before he starts dashing, I guess, you're more than likely to just be exactly in line with him when you when you're able to bounce off of him, so. Then anyway, we're almost through the first area. And I could have cut it a lot shorter by taking out a lot of the attempts where I get... Like, I could have cut out the first half of the attempts, basically, in the future parts, but... I left I left a lot in, in this part, so... But anyway, we're here now, so we need to get our dash back so we can go through here. Carefully, very carefully. And then get up to this platform here, and we're already a, a decent way into the level. But there is still yet more to go. About half, so... And that's with all the cuts. Oh boy. I got a lot better at the first part of the level. Because when you're thinking about it, you, like, when I get to the further part of the level for the first time, I might not even get back to that point again. But no, you usually do. You, you, it's weird. You get a lot better at the beginning of the, the room without really thinking about it. It's just weird the way that the brain works sometimes, I guess. Anyway. Also, I can't remember if I sung along with this music when I was going through here. I don't think I did, but it's always possible that I was singing along with the music while trying some of these attempts. I know that the later levels, I was definitely singing along with the music as I was attempting them. Which you should probably be glad that I'm not singing it now. But I got very familiar with some of the songs. Anyway. 
We need to dash once through here, or at one angle and then another, to get the timing right, I guess. Ah, uh, but we've only got to that second end platform once or twice now. I can't, I haven't been paying as much attention as I probably should be. Ah, uh, but anyway. I'm getting there now. That's a bad place to lose your dash, but luckily there is a crystal there, and also you can bounce off of the manager's head. Oh, don't. That's a bad angle. <laughs> he was dashing at the perfectly wrong time. I can probably be quieter and just let the music play. Just because it's good, but also the cuts make it a little bit all over the place, which is the only other problem. Okay, good. Okay, now that this bit, I didn't know what to do at first, so I just jumped for it, apparently. But what we need to do is dash in mid-air to bounce off the manager's head to get up there and onto the block. And then, we need to basically do the same thing again to get to the Crystal Heart. But of course, every time we die, we have to do the first part of the level again to get there, so... I didn't get there a ton of times, but I did get there a few, so... I love the way that this game looks. It's so well graphically as well as every other way. <laughs> it's the best video game ever. I say that a lot about, about a lot of video games, but this one... Yeah, it's probably, <laughs> probably... I have too many favorite games, is what I'm trying to say. I love them all. Okay. Making your way through. Again. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close and not close enough. Every time I tried to rush it, I would I would die basically immediately. Also, there's this other thing that I have a problem with when whenever I get to a new bit and then die, is for some reason the first attempt or several attempts after getting to a new spot, I always die near the beginning, which is weird because you'd think after all of that practice you'd be better at the end. That wave dash almost worked, but it really didn't. I didn't get my dash back at all, I don't think. But you will need to know how to wave dash to get through a lot of the later levels as well, so. Particularly the core. But it also helps you with a little bit of practice there as well, so. Okay, bonk. Let's bounce off his head again if we can get the timing right. Just a little bit difficult. There we go. Hit that, and on the platform, but unfortunately... I didn't get far enough on that dash there. Uh, but anyway, trying that again. I I cut a few bits out to make this go by faster. Unfortunately though, I bounced off his head a few times into the spikes, which was not good. It was not a pleasant experience. Also, that's just depressing to miss him entirely. But it's all comes it all comes down to timing basically. And I'm not great at timing. As proof of my deaths will say. But anyway, this looks like this is the run to get to the end, because I try to leave all the final runs in of each room. Okay. Just need to get to the end. Okay. Bonk. Dash. We're going to take that crystal there to make things easier for ourselves as well. Okay, good. 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 There we go. And that's what I lost my mind over in the first room, and somehow made it through the rest of it. I love the B-side, C-side complete theme. Especially after being familiar with the, I guess, the A-side theme. Anyway, only 469 deaths. That's pretty good. Okay, we're done with the Celestial Resort, so let's move on to the Golden Ridge. With one of my favorite songs in the game, basically, with the B-side and C-side. I really like this. But anyway, the first room didn't take me that long, so it's basically uncut in the first room. It was very simple to just use the bubbles and then wall jump, like dash wall jump, basically, off of the, the sides there. But once you get to the third one, you actually need to jump off that wall there to actually make it to the end. But there we go, that's the first room done. The second one took me a little bit longer, but it still was pretty short. 
So, there it is. Some of these seasides are harder than others, and obviously you have a different time depending on how, how you are as a person, who you are. Everyone has a different experience, so that's just the beauty of games, though. It's just so, so good. But anyway, we need to dash or jump between both sides of this block as the only platform that we have, basically. And we need to get to the dash and ma somehow make it to the other side again. It's just swapping sides is, it, on a moving platform is just a strange and difficult concept. It, it's a good concept, but it's hard. But anyway, just need to make it across and get to the end, I guess. And there we go. That took definitely a lot longer than that. Now the third room. Again, didn't take too long, but it did take several, uh, uh, a reasonable amount of attempts. So. But I think it only took like 10 minutes, probably. At most. But anyway, this is a very long room. But don't let that discourage you, because it's actually... It, it goes by pretty quickly. Particularly because this is the Golden Ridge, and the Golden Ridge is known for its high wind speeds, so... At least that's what I remember it for, so... I guess there are a few other things that you could remember it for. Like the clouds, I guess. Which we need to bounce off of to get to the second part. With the bubbles. I guess the bubbles as well. There are so many things in this game. Okay, so let's bounce off that. High winds, which help us actually reach where we need to go, but makes it difficult to get over that bit of spikes there. Also, I, had, I think I had a few times in this bit where I could wall jump off of the spikes, and I don't know how. Not there, I don't think. Also, this is your reminder to please, please listen to the soundtrack. Please. Just, in, just without playing the game, like, you play the game, that's good. But also, when you're not playing the game, you should listen to the soundtrack, because it's so good. I have it saved to, to my phone, because I just... I want to listen to it all the time, basically. Well, not all the time, but still. There are some really good songs in Celeste. Anyway, we made it to the bubble bit, so we need to... Like, go out and then up, or down, depending on where the bubble is. We also need to keep in mind that the wind speed is quite high when we get there as well, though, so... Dash up. Then... That was the wrong time to dash. We need to dash when we get to that, f that flag on the bottom there, the blue flag. So we can make it to the platform just across from there. Like I said, this isn't a, a terrible. This is a terrible. Also, oh, I think I glitched there into that block, possibly. I can't remember. This is, this is a fairly long room, but it goes by quickly because of the wind and all that. So you don't need to worry too much. Okay, dash up there. And then we basically can fall directly into the bubble, which is good. Uh, but we need to get the right angles to jump between those platforms there and to the end, because that's the end of the level there, so. So good. Celeste is really... It's its done something. It means a lot to me. As a, as a game. I don't think I'd say it's my favourite, but I'd still say it's important to me. Anyway, I, I messed up at the end there. by Because I missed the last platform. Uh, but I think now, we're actually going to reach it. So let's do it. Just going to fall from there. Good. I love the, the feeling of jumping off off of those um, platforms there at the end, though. It's really good. And there we go. That's the Golden Ridge complete. Also, every time I, I finished one of the seasides, I took a screenshot and sent it to my Twitter because I was just that happy. Only 131 deaths. That's less than the B-side. Wow. And now, for one of the longer seasides to attempt, as if you're making as many mistakes as I did, the Mirror Temple. The first and third rooms took me 22 minutes each. The middle one didn't take me anywhere near as long, but it, the first room is extremely short, but I, I took a lot of attempts to make it through, so what you're seeing here is the, the very short version. So, also, because of how long I was in the first and third rooms, I was actually very familiar with the music here. Like, I was, I was singing along with the music 
in the first room. That's how long it took. Oh, and this is this is about done in about a second here. So the whole level took me like forty-five minutes. I liked the 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 notes in the background that slowly descend. I'm singing along with the music again already. That's how well I knew the music. But there we go, that's the first room done. That took 22 minutes and a lot of death, so... Just keep that in mind. <laughs> because we're gonna be doing it again. No. <laughs> no. I, I... yeah. Once I'm done with the seasides and farewell, I'm not going after the gold strawberries. The only reason you'd probably get the gold strawberries is if you want to play a completed file already. Just randomly and manage to get it somehow. If you're going if you want the golden strawberries, you shouldn't be trying to get the golden strawberries, is basically what I'm saying. If you want the golden strawberries, you either play this for fun a lot for some reason. Which I can I can I can understand that probably. It's a good game. Uh, or you speedrun the game. Which I mean you can't have fun and speedrun at the same time. But anyway. Now for another 20 minutes and a lot of deaths. This one was a lot more complex than the first room, which I'm quite happy with. Like, if I'm gonna die in the first room and it's not that complicated, then I'm more upset. <laughs> I don't know why. But this one's a pretty good room, so... We have the red bubbles to take us around the place, we need to dodge spikes. We need to dash wall jump right there, up to that crystal up there, so we can get over to these platforms over here that move when we dash. So we can jump over the spike pillars to get over here to some more red bubbles, so we can... Dash wall jump a bit, and then wall jump, and then dash over here, and dash into the the switches so we can open the doors and get to the part there. So many things all at once. Also, there's, I believe, I think there you can take specific paths, because there's a bit there to walk, and like to dash wall jump there, but I think it's better to just take the bottom red bubble and take it up, and then go back down. I guess it depends on what you want to do, but anyway. I just thought that was a lot easier. Also, the amount of times I died trying to dash wall jump on that one bit right there, right there, just is incredible. I would miss that so many times. But anyway, we've made it over to the bit with the moving blocks when we, whenever we dash. The thing about those is that we want to grab onto the one opposite of the spike pillar so that we can go using the momentum it gives us to get across. Getting to the second block on the ceiling is a little bit more difficult than the first one because of the angle that you have to get to it. Mostly because there's not a second block on the bottom pillar to help you get there. So, but anyway, there we go. There's also a spring down there if you need, for some reason, to recover, but anyway. Just need to get further in again. It's so nice being able to see this with the just the highlight highlighted runs only so you always I'm, we're always making progress basically or maybe getting up to the same point but most of the time this song is so good <laughs> okay and now into the final bit except I'm definitely gonna mess it up like that <sighs> it, it's 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 weird getting to the end and then dying because you can know you can do it at that point but also it takes its toll basically it's much easier to tear up just from missing by the slightest bit like that but anyway I think this is probably gonna be the last run so let's look at how beautiful it is Mmm, so smooth. That that platform in the wall there is difficult to grab onto. But anyway, let's hit that switch and victory. Just like that. So there we go. 
That's that one done. 45 minutes and... <sighs> 399 deaths. Just like that. Okay, let's go on. Into reflection. I can't remember how long this took, but it probably took a, a, a reasonable amount of time. Maybe half an hour or 50 minutes, I, I can't remember, so. But anyway, we have these bounces again, and we, and we also need to use that with the power of wall jumping, or dash wall jumping, specifically, to make it through this first room. And the second and third rooms were reasonably reasonably difficult. The, f the first one wasn't that bad, but it, it was still easy to die, obviously, but not that bad compared to the rest. And bad in the, the good, good way of difficulty. Okay, we made it to the second room already. So let's fall down. We're gonna have to use a lot of falling and flying using the feathers to make our way through. Carefully. You have to get really good at using the feathers and turning around the corners correctly. You can't just like tap it in that direction. You really have to roll the control stick just right. Also, I'd highly recommend switching from Pro Con no, from Joy-Cons to Pro Controller if you're playing on Switch. Just, it, you need a proper controller in your hand, good control stick and all that. Otherwise, you're probably gonna, probably gonna have a little bit more difficulty than anyone else. Although, I guess it depends on your preference as well, so. My preference was, was Joy-Cons until I started using a Pro Controller and then I got a lot more used to it and it, it just felt a lot better than the Joy-Cons ever did, so... Anyway, let's dash over there. But we actually needed to not use our dash there, because we need to get to that wall with our dash, so we can jump off of it and use our dash to get to the end of the room. So... I believe we can do that right now. Just like that, and then jump to freedom, dash, and then we're done. Okay, the third room is actually interesting, because it's a very long room. But luckily for us, there is actually a checkpoint that it, it doesn't tell you about until you die, so... But we have this block, which we're gonna need to take with us. Down as we fall. All the way down through here. Please go down. Go down. Have that bouncer there to help us get to it. Oh my goodness, falling in crystals. And then down here, we need to go over to the right. Still taking the block with us a little bit so it can launch us over to the next area. And over here, where that binoculars is, is basically the checkpoint. Which is good. Which means we can bounce off these bounces and not have to worry about dying, because we'll go back to the checkpoint. And then we just need to bounce and wall jump a little bit to get to the crystal heart. Not too bad. Once we get to the checkpoint, that is, so... I'm glad that the checkpoint's there, otherwise it would've taken a lot longer, because you'd have to get that at the first part of the room right every time you wanted to attempt the bounces. Well, I like the... I don't know why, because I feel like it would be worse with the the same color background as the heart, but I, th I actually like that yellow on yellow look to it. But anyway, we also need to fall off this block so we can get the crystal to hit the block. Kind of like that, but not 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 in that spot, because we need to be able to use the wall without being crushed. I also tried to dash all the way down here, but realized I needed to take the block with me. Okay. Gives us plenty of time to go slow. Except I always rush every time and jump directly into the spikes. Okay. Hit that. Now we need to take it across with us as well, so we can go down into the bouncer. Also, feel free to just take a break between levels sometimes if you need to, or even between rooms. I took a quite a few breaks. Not too many, but I, I tried to get as much done in each time I was playing the game. But I also took month, like a month or two br break in between some rooms and some levels. It depends on what levels they were, mainly. I, I, I think I did most of the seasides on... in like one day or two. And then the core and... 
uh, like half of the remainder of farewell, and then the other half, half I took breaks in between bits of those. So it it it's good to take a break sometimes. I found that my muscle memory actually was actually really good for Celeste, for the most part. It's not a great position to be in, but I think I can recover from that. Yes, I can. Ah, uh, not if I do that. It's, it's difficult sometimes to get the right direction on the control stick to get through. Nope. Okay. Well, we're getting quite close now. Although I, I failed a few times when I got very close to the end. Like, very close. At, at the end, basically. Just needed a dash wall jump up there and then bounce off that bouncer to the crystal and the part there. Easier said than done, but... If, you, if you're persistent, you can do anything. <laughs> so there we go. Bounce off that. Dash wall jump. And then get the line up correctly, and there we go. And there we go. Unknown amount of time taken to complete that. And only 132 deaths. Pretty good.